So recently I had an issue um, embedding uh, iframe objects into Blackboard pages. Uh, it would show where they were supposed to be, but they just wouldn't appear. They wouldn't actually show up. So with some great support from our ICT uh, group here at the University of Saskatchewan, uh, we determined that it was uh, due to the um, uh, web pages uh, in Blackboard being HTTPS and the uh, iframe code being HTTP. So um, what's the difference? Well, there's, you can do lots of reading online as to what the difference between HTTP and HTTPS is, but essentially it's a, it's a security and an encryption um, difference. So um, how then do we get iframe objects embedded into a Blackboard page that have uh, HTTP um, uh, URLs within the code um, as opposed to uh, HTTPS because the browsers won't allow you to mix those. Uh, what it does is that if you mix uh, HTTP into an HTTPS page, it allows sort of wormholes for people to come in and, and, and mess with security issues and, and all sorts of things like that. So we want to maintain HTTPS on all the pages on the Blackboard courses. So how do we do that by embedding these other iframe things? So um, let's have a quick look at, at what the solution is and, and how, to, uh, how to get your iframe objects embedded into Blackboard pages. Um, with HTTP uh, codes onto an HTTPS uh, page in Blackboard. Okay, so here we are in Blackboard 9 and uh, I've created a new item and I've uh, named my new item. So now I'm ready to uh, put in the iframe code to uh, embed this iframe object into my course page. So as always, we go to Insert Edit Embedded Media and that's going to bring up this little window. Um, I'm going to choose type. I'm going to go down to iframe on the drop down menu. And then I'm going to go to source. And it's given us a default um, sort of uh, code there. We can just delete that. And now I'm going to navigate um, to uh, my uh, Prezi. Uh, that I'm going to embed. Now again, you can embed anything that, um, any object you build on the web that allows you to have an embed code and, and put that into something. Um, you, can, uh, you can grab that code and just find the embed code. Now here's, uh, here's the piece that's the issue, right? The HTTP as opposed to HTTPS. But that's okay, we're just gonna copy it as is for now anyway, because that's what's, what they're giving us. And we're going to go back to Blackboard. We're going to find our little pop-up window that's now hidden behind the other one. And we're just going to drop that in there like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just show you what it looks like if we don't change anything here. If we just leave that as is and insert it. Okay, so we just insert that as is. It's going to show us in our editing window that it's allocated the space for it, it knows the dimensions of it, it knows what it is, it knows it's supposed to be there, but when we hit submit, you'll see that it doesn't appear. It's not there uh, and, and it's not working for us. So how do we fix this? And again, that's the issue uh, because of it being an HTTP uh, iframe URL as opposed to HTTPS, which is what the page is. So the browser is saying, we don't want these mixed, so we're not going to allow that to, to happen. And there's ways around that, but, but they're not really secure ways. So I'm going to show you the secure way to get that in there. So we're going to go back and we're going to edit this. So now if we go into the HTML editor for this particular object, and we find that HTTP all the way up to that colon, we're just going to delete that and just leave the slash slash in the URL. And if the URL appears anywhere else in your iframe code, you'll want to delete that as well. And just get rid of it all together and just leave the slash slash. And we're going to update that and we're going to hit submit. And now you'll see your presentation is appearing. You're able to play your presentation or use the player, however the, the object is supposed to work, it now works. Whatever it's supposed to do, it now does it. And we've done it in a secure way where it's now using the default for the page, which is HTTPS. 
And so that's, that's the workaround uh, to keep that secure and to keep that working uh, within Blackboard.